Did you know that many of the vegetables that we buy on a regular basis can actually be regrown from their scraps? So next time you are doing meal prep, do not throw those scraps away into your compost or trash. Instead, stick around because we are going to discuss seven of my favorite to regrow from their scraps so that way you can stretch your dollar and start saving money to make your grocery budget last even longer. My name is Tiffany and I help busy millennials create healthy meals and minutes without stress and overwhelm. And for those adults looking to indulge just a little bit every once in a while, I also offer beverage pairing recommendations with those quick, easy recipes. Follow me on social media and you can have access to daily tips, tricks, recipes, inspiration, and so much more inside my tasting room. So in this video, we are going to discuss my favorite veggies to regrow from their scraps. So let's get started. The first one is a great one to start with if you have never done this before. So have you ever regrown your veggie scraps? Let me know in the comments below which ones you have tried or comment never if this is a brand new concept for you. And where I recommend starting is with scallions, also known as green onions. Now scallions are one of the easiest to regrow and the most rewarding. So the next time you are slicing up those scallions as a salad topping or to saute in your meat, save that little root tip at the end. So you want about an inch of that root tip and simply put that tip into a jar of water or directly into a pot of dirt. And within just a two to three weeks, it will be re-sprouting into a new scallion ready for you to use. And as you snip it, again, just leave about an inch or two of that root base and it will continue to regrow, giving you endless access to those fresh green onions. One of my favorites. Now, another one that we often do is using beet tops. Now, this is a similar concept with carrot tops as well, but we're gonna focus on beets first. So first of all, I wanna know, do you love beets? or do you hate beets? Drop it in the comments. I know beets are not for everyone. They're one of my favorites. My significant other, not so much. They just taste like dirt to him. So usually I'm on my own when it comes to fresh beets from our garden. But with those beets, you're going to slice off the top and you've got two options. You can put it into a shallow dish of water letting those greens continue to grow, snip them off and add them to your salad. So delicious. And your other option is to plant directly into the dirt. Now this is gonna take some time, but eventually you will have a new beet bulb forming in that dirt and you still have access to those delicious salad greens. Now carrot tops are very similar. You can stick that right in a shallow dish of water and let those greens re-sprout. This is one of the favorites for my rabbits. They go crazy over those carrot greens. Now, if you've never tried them before, they are very similar to parsley, so excellent garnish, but I never really get to eat them because they always go to the rabbits. So do you have any pets at home? Drop it in the comments what you have for pets. I know there are several dog moms out there, which I also have a dog, um, in addition to those two rabbits and more. We've got a mini zoo. That's what happens when you're a vet tech, right? I know I'm not alone in that. <laughs> so with the carrots, you can do the shallow dish of water, having the access to those greens re-sprouting. You can also plant them in to dirt. And this is so much fun for kids especially if you plant those carrot tops into a clear box, plop it on your windowsill or stick it out on the patio. The benefit of using a clear box is you can watch the carrots grow down into the dirt. It is an excellent learning opportunity for the kids in your life and it's so much fun. Now next up we have got celery which typically goes along with carrots in many recipes. So do you love celery? how do you use it? I typically use it as just a add-in flavor for soups, stews, chilies. 
not one of my personal favorites to eat on its own, but it's a great filler and a great boost of water because that's pretty much all that is in celery. So a great way to stay hydrated. Now the next time you find yourself with that bundle of celery, save that root base. Again, about an inch of it, and you can plant that right into some shallow water. It will start to grow roots within as quickly as a few days. And once you see that nice root ball forming, stick it in a pot of dirt and watch your new celery stalks come to life, giving you access to a brand new bunch of fresh celery so amazing. Now, similar to this are going to be your lettuce varieties. So all of my salad lovers, what is your favorite lettuce green? Drop it in the comments. Uh, we most often go after romaine. I love green leaf and red leaf as well. And all of these can be re-sprouted in water. Just like the celery, you're going to stick that root base into a jar of water and watch it grow. Within a couple weeks, you are gonna have fresh lettuce ready to enjoy for your salads all season long. Such an awesome way to be able to stretch your dollar and enjoy fresh produce. Now, that's not all. We also have garlic, one of my personal favorites. So, if you are a garlic lover, comment garlic. And if you ever found yourself with a bulb of garlic that has that little green tip, well, that's actually a root and that means that you can plant that little clove of garlic and it could grow into another brand new head of garlic so that's one clove into approximately eight to ten is what you're going to find in your average head of garlic now that is an amazing way to stretch your dollar because garlic is not cheap and of course fresh garlic is so much better than garlic powder so you're going to plant that garlic clove right into the dirt with that green tip up and watch it grow. Now it's also going to shoot up a green stalk similar to the scallions that have a little bit of a garlic flavor, but they are delicious. And eventually you will find yourself with a new head of garlic. Pretty awesome. And lastly are our herbs. So what is your favorite fresh herb? Share it in the comments. We love basil. And benefits of basil is you can regrow a brand new plant from fresh cuttings. So you'll snip off that fresh cutting, put it in a jar of water. After a few days, you'll see roots, roots growing. Stick it in a pot of dirt and it's going to turn into a brand new fresh basil plant. Now this also works really well with rosemary and a handful of other herbs. Excellent way to have access to fresh herbs year round, especially because you can keep that pot right on your kitchen counter or wherever you've got sunlight coming into your house. So which of these are you going to try first? Quick recap, we have got scallions, beets, carrots, celery, lettuce, garlic, and basil. Which one are you going to give a try first? Share it in the comments. And while you're there, let's keep this momentum going to save you not just money, but also time and energy while you're cooking at home. Shoot me a message that says the word busy, and I will hook you up with my free weeknight recipe guide that has seven recipes in it that all go from raw to ready in less than 30 minutes so that way you can start spending time how you wish instead of spending it all in the kitchen. Happy cooking!